everybody, what is going on? Hope you're having a fantastic week to your start to your 2021 year. My name is Ballhawk, and this is episode 10 of the Sky Pillar Sit Down. I'm gonna let my co hosts go down the line and introduce themselves. Hey, um, I'm Barry Ferry. I'm excited to be a celebrity being uh, on this podcast <laughs> for the first time. I've never been on one of these before. <laughs> What up? I'm LS, and this one is for Alex. G'day, mates. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. I am also a celebrity, just like Barry. How are you? I'm Sunson. I can't wait for my first appearance on the podcast as well. <laughs> so many celebrities. So many celebrities. I feel starstruck. Call this Los Angeles. Call this Los Angeles. Like a walk. Like a walk. It's like Walk of Fame, right? Right, right, yeah. Right. Walking amongst the stars. That's Dang. what I'm saying. I called the Dr. Phil star. <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, with that, welcome in. Uh, hope you're comfy. Sit down. we got a great show ahead of you. So, there isn't, <laughs> I guess, there isn't a whole lot to announce this week. <laughs> um... I, we got a a new partner league uh, with the Sky Pillar sit down, so that's fun. Thank you for uh, joining arms with us, Talal, and the random draft league. So I think that brings us up to seven partner leagues. And oh wow, yeah, so I think so. I hadn't read a lot. I hadn't written down before, but I think they consist of the WPF, Wiggly Tough Battle Guild, the Random Draft League, Divine Battle League. Let's prepare for trouble. And there's the Draft League Nexus, the League Coliseum Draft, which is basically just a giant hub. Am I missing one? I don't know because the only one I know of those is WPF. <laughs> I am almost on the same, almost on the same part. So I, don't know. Yeah. You, I don't even know where you're tracking this. <laughs> we have the role, man. We got we got the the partnered league owner. Let's see, we got seven. We got like yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. Ballhawk is just gonna own every league by the end of 2021. That's the goal. Yeah, total takeover. Merge them all together, make one super league. Total takeover. Hey, we we invaded Jambad server. What? <laughs> 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 Got them to post the Team Hawk prep doc in their draft league. Oh, that's crazy. Category. Yeah, so. I mean, your prep doc is really good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so oh, that was also one of the updates, too. So, oh, go we were joking about going uh, as being celebrities, but like, Hawk is the closest one of being a celebrity because, like, his True. doc is everywhere. <laughs> it's, my, it's my only claim to fame. That's like. The only reason why people know my name, if they do. <laughs> hey, I know your name because I'm your friend. Okay? That's that's well, okay. That's I'm... I mean, you guys know my name because you're my friends. So, aside from that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, okay. So going going on or running off of that that transition, ish to the the prep doc, um, there is a a update in the works to include VGC 2021 and have its own decks in the prep doc itself. So, so far, the doc encompasses all eight generations with their own national decks, tier decks, mm -hmm. and there really is no support for 2021 VGC right now just because VGC has its own like move slots that they're allowed and there's different moves that are of interest for that so there's an update in the works to make the prep doc more um, catered to that uh, draft or that format as well so that is hopefully going to roll out shortly after this airs um, and then the other thing that I have in the works is I'm going to make a, a YouTube video that encompasses you know the ins and outs of the document because as it's been out in circulation for about you know, a month or two now. Um, I've had people DM me asking about, you know, hey, can I do this? Or <laughs> they're excited because they find out they can change the name of something, like the league <laughs> names. Like, <laughs> so that way when they go to the teams tab, it's like, oh, I can sort it by my my league name. Like, yeah. So, um, 
there will be a video comes out to, that'll come out soon yeah. that'll I'll, yeah I'll walk through yeah a walk through basically to show you the power of the prep doc so it's gonna be a feature that none of us even knew about that you're gonna blow our minds with get ready get your popcorn ready dude uh i watched one of your <laughs> one of your um videos about one of your matches and i saw that on the matchup data there was more to it if you scroll down that blew my mind oh you never even <laughs> scrolled down that what i scrolled down for the first time when i was on the lc league like the ttbl yeah because when you're on level five like the variations from speed tiers are so tiny so tiny that you need to that you need to adjust the level and like see again the speed tiers and like when you scroll down and see the speed tiers on the lc like it's absolutely crucial because you can prep for the speed tiers more easily it is it is like really really good i think that hawk is creating a a star doc that we will for sure see in some really big youtube videos Dude, that, like would, Poke that, that would Poke be like Aim is, <laughs> <laughs> Poke Aim is, joey from pokeam if you're listening to this please sponsor us <laughs> please <laughs> please play in our league but yeah, please play, play our league, league. Play media for us. <laughs> please come and come to my server and wax me. Please. <laughs> that, I'll be waiting. That would actually be pretty I, pretty pretty awesome. I I doubt it gets that that kind of um, publicity or anything like can that. But... You Im- can you imagine like celebrities coming to our little nest? Like that'd be, that'd be this pretty sweet. This thing is celebrity. Got it. And we went to APA for a bit. He did. So did, I mean, all those guys went to APA for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But Envy's like the big. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's the big draft league dude. He is. Yeah. No, if, 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 that, if that doc ever showed up on one of their videos, that would be like the ultimate claim to fame in this community. Yeah, hey, I mean, <laughs> you're closer You're closer now since it's in Jambat's server. True. True. So, uh, hey. yeah. Um,. So yeah, expect a, a YouTube video coming out showing you the the works, you know, a man user's manual, um, if you will, and uh, yeah. But I um, haven't updated my doc like the newest version. Like I don't want to import everything over. <laughs> so much effort to like press Control V and then press Control V. I'll just. It's true. I'm stuck on like version two point one or something. <laughs> Yo, it's th- so okay. So good news. I actually had somebody ask me about this today. Um, as long as you have like, or you can find the original link for the. So actually, okay, a little bit of a caveat. I have an OG version of this where it had a completely different layout, and it was much clunkier, and didn't have nearly as many features of it. If you have that one, and I'm sure if you have it, you know what I'm talking about. Disregard that one. I'll link the new one in the description below. Get this one. And as long as you have that link, you just pop in there every now and then and you know see what's going on because whenever I roll out a new update for it, I just I edit the same document. Like I don't create a new document anymore, I just edit the same link. So if you have that this link, um, you'll always have access to the most current up to date. And there's a a release notes tab in there to let you know you know, what's been added or changed or taken out. Um, so you always know, you know, what to expect. But um, anything further than that, I'm kind of getting into what I want to cover into the in the, the manual. So um, stay tuned for that. That's coming. And anything else you guys want to add for, for news and notes? By the way, the doc is trademarked. So if you try to copy it, and don't give credit, you're gonna have to pay something. That's right. True. Pay. Very true. Nah, I don't know. I, I don't know where I was Everything going with that. that's uh, created, that like, is, is automatically copyrighted. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So if you see anyone doing that, report them to the Ballhawk police. 
Ball hawk, ball hawk That's elise. Us. That's us, basically. Yeah, it's me. It's it's me. It's me and the police cap. That's exactly. It. I'll throw hands. Don't worry. We'll send we'll send officer Je officer Jenny on you. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 With that, moving on. <laughs> Let's get into the weekly rewind. So everybody got their their weekly summary sheet in front of them. Of course. Of course, yes, I should sir. expect nothing less from you. Top Thank notch. You. <laughs> Calm down with the floating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're we're, we're, we're on live television right now. Calm down. I can't help it. <laughs> Anywho, um. I guess I st I'm still trying to like come up with a you know a straightforward you know, best practices way to to kind of start through this. Um, whether I go with the the week six the season overall or just start it off with the set of the week. I don't know. Um, we can start. We can start with the most uh, unusual and off the wall thing. Dragapult is the kill leader. Oh yeah, so off the wall. <laughs> didn't even Absolute. get a kill. Didn't even get a kill. Like, I didn't die once this week. Oh wow, that's crazy. Is this for all the like? Yeah, all Dragon for. Them. Oh, oh yeah, wow. yeah. The week it's week six the standings over there. Yeah, I was gonna say, how did you get thirty three kills and only eight deaths on that? that <laughs> crazy. Oh yeah, so on the right, that's that's the total season standings across all the divisions like all this is all the game data across the entire server except for we don't have vgc incorporated into this because that's it's a little bit guess, much yeah it's it's, it's, it's much lens. yeah it's much different for than, from singles it, it kind of deserves its own thing if we ever get to that point yeah but yeah no surprise dragable <laughs> What do you mean, no surprise? Like, when Dragapult gets a kill? Never. Yeah, I've never seen him get a kill. Nah. What even is a Dragapult, you know? I think it's an um, endangered exactly. species. I think it's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> by, the na by the name, it sounds like a catapult. Maybe Very a dragon true. catapult. Oh my god, I think we've cracked the code. I think we figured it out. Oh. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> True. <laughs> the only thing that I see right now that I do not appreciate, if you scroll down here to number 13 on the left, oh, no. and then you go over Someone. a number of columns, there's a cell right here that says oh. zero. Someone's going to get fired. Two people, two people, let a Magnazone walk free. Yeah, but no that's, that's a loss to the uh, Iron Defense body press man. That was brought by. I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you. Destroy G Steel, very skinned. <sighs> hey, I'm the only reason Registeel's number. Uh, Regis. I don't know how to say it. Reggie Steel is on the list at all okay <laughs> <laughs> that's true how many how many of those how many oh, wait hold up hold up. back back up back up you didn't know that body press iron defense magnetism was a thing dude that's the only reason why i don't have a championship yet <laughs> <laughs> sorry i don't watch all your games ball i'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was it uh was it last season it was it was the quarantine draft league it's i've been oh, okay. i've been very adamant about it that so <laughs> on, the, on the finals, uh, body press critical hit from a magnet zone. Damn. It was like plus four in the we were, as well. So, so, I, had, so I was the one with Reggie Steel that time. And we both just started to set up iron defenses. We're like, all right, it's going to be this game. <laughs> <laughs> and I started, you know, we both got to max defense. And then I, he was faster. He hit his right. body press critical hit the first time and just like after that I had no answer for Magnazone and I just lost <laughs> Dang. It, it was a, and that's the sole reason because uh, of why 
Magnezone is not allowed here. <coughs> and if you don't kill a Magnezone uh, on your game, if you're from staff, you might get the chop. You might okay. get fired. <laughs> okay, I'll keep that in mind if I ever see a Magnezone. If you ever actually win that week, but see that you have an L in your, your win-loss record, that's probably why. Just okay. Oh, it's <laughs> it's, it's only when you play Austin, so watch out for it. Right, right. Actually, I think I beat... I beat Austin, didn't I? Well, did you kill his Magnezone? Austin. He probably didn't bring it, that's why you managed to beat him. True. Actually, actually, oh. actually, yeah, no. You might as well just change it to an L. No, no, actually, actually, no. I, I, it, it was an L. That was my first loss, actually. Okay. Ah, makes sense then. Yeah, he actually didn't bring it though. He had, he had Scarf Landorus. That's what did me in Scarf Landorus. Yeah, but and he got on his bench, really? and that threat scared you enough. It did. It threw me it off. The lucky shot. The intimidation of Magnezone. That's got a fourth ability. Did you know that? It's a fourth ability? Intimidate. It only works on me, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. Yo, for alligator showing up. One game, five kills. Who was that? Who was that? Yeah, it was Zapdos. Dude, good job, yeah, Alex. He just dragon danced and cleaned up. He, he dragon danced he managed to dragon dance twice and he had like a rock slide for coverage and liquidation and the last move was revealed but like the liquidation spammed uh, on the opposing team and went with uh, five, five, five kills basically you know what I bet what that last move was? Yeah. I I don't think it was revealed. It's it was probably I... it was probably a dancing movie saving for a rainy day. <laughs> uh, that took me a second. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> it was a bit of a it was a bad bad joke bad joke. <laughs> it happens. It happens. <laughs> um. Anyway, okay. Let's let's scroll down the list here. Coming. Coming down here on the left side. Last week's recap. Yo, That's Sand that. Slash Alola making an appearance. 36. Duosion at 34. Sand Slash Alola, if I am not mistaken, is also from Zapdos. Yeah, yeah it's from Nick. It's from you. you the... Zapdos is, showing up. Uh, it's, it's you, if I'm not mistaken. You, you's team is... Bunny Lux, there's no warning, and Sand Slash, he has a Hail Core, right? It's probably the only reason you're ever gonna bring Sand Slash. Yeah. Yep. Let's see, just scroll down a little bit more. What do we got here? We're gonna take a moment of appreciation because this is probably the first time I am on top 20. <laughs> I have an Azelf making an appearance as 11th place yo nice very nice i love i love the taunty at the bottom is it really at the bottom yep yeah. very bottom <laughs> wow. is there too. don't worry what oh, dang dude what happened down G what happened Girat <laughs> entered in three games and did absolutely nothing okay no my, okay, my it probably Girat defogged my Jirachi almost killed Guard Mega Guard. Did you want that game, Sosan? Yeah, have you seen the Aerodactyl score? <laughs> oh, true, true. So, ba so basically, Jirachi <laughs> wins up. doing absolutely nothing. That's the thing. Jirachi is the Luigi of the <laughs> FPS. <laughs> pretty like much, pretty much, it just comes in and does nothing but gets yeah, the kill. Yeah, did nothing that game. <laughs> he just wore the Rocky the helmet, <laughs> came in and just got the chip kill. Well, th this one did. I, I, I took Mega Garbo to like five percent. I, I actually went against Jirachi this week. It one of the kills of Jirachi this week was actually my fault. I don't recall how. Exactly, I think it was Heliolisk. No, no, sorry, it was Azelf. 
but one of the kills on Jirachi was actually my fault. Tough game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just don't really like the way that this bottom, I guess, I'll say 10, well, 9 look. Well, okay, excluding Mill Tank. But like, Zapdos, Mega Swampert, Infernape, Falcarona, Drake Algae. Corviknight, Jirachi, Mandibuzz, Tornado Styrian. I guess Mandibuzz is a little bit passive. Like it's it's a defensive check, but like, yeah, come on. Yeah, why that you, is, it is you, odd. Why you gotta do him like that? You, you know, no matter what you. variant Jirachi I bring, it always ends up being a utility. Like I could bring Scarf, I could bring like CM, I could bring like Weakness Policy. It's always gonna just sit there and do nothing. <laughs> you know, one thing that I learned about Jirachi. A while back, because it actually gets Draco Meteor. Yes, it's a special event, and it was shiny, I think. Which me, I mean, it's viable then. Yeah, you can actually do a really solid thing yeah. with this, with this bottle six. Well, yeah, no, you could. <laughs> you could. Jirachi Medipaz the Tornadoes, like it's an absolute solid thing. That is. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> with a Jirachi, I, I was in, this was the first iteration of this league before it was IPA and then SPS, it was GPA, and I was on a terrible lose streak, I only had two wins that season, and I had a Jirachi that I just used to hacks down the man's entire team, <laughs> and I won 1-0. Oh my god. <laughs> that was me with Togekiss in season one. Dude. <laughs> I was, I was... I was, uh, correct me if I am mistaken, but on season one... You had like uh, Togi Flinch, Tyranitar, and Dracozoat or Dracovish. Like yeah, you had Dracovish. A, a really stupid strong Sand Core and a Togi Kiss. And, and I, I six would um Drake with it. It was infuriating. Like it was infuriating playing against Togi Kiss. <laughs> yeah, who let you draft that? Zapdos division, but of course I had no how to use it because that was when I was just a draft baby. Mm. Now, you, now you're a draft adolescent. Nah, I'm still getting up, slowly growing up. Are you walking yet? Yeah. Not you're just yet. I'm crawling. You're, you're yeah. a drafty infant. I think you're, you're getting close. Like you're st you're standing up, but it's like yeah, but I'm still a bit wobbly and I sometimes fall over and stumble a bit, you know. It's, you know, it's, you'll, you'll get there, you know, it's, it's it I'll takes time. Hey. You'll walk, if you'll if walk. You, if, you, if you stumble on your own feet, that's your stumble to progress. I don't know how to compliment, to compliment. It, it made enough sense that it's fine. Yes, <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> you can, you can only stop, you can only trip to front and that's progress. Exactly. I don't know if that makes oh. sense. <laughs> I, I, I do see what you mean. That I like that. I like that. Exactly. Progress is progress. Progress is progress. Exactly. For sure. Well, then I think we'll we'll move from left to right, and we'll go from the week six leaderboard, and we'll hop into the set of the week, which is a bit incomplete. Um, but I guess it, it kind of, you know, it's... It... I don't know how much more explanation it deserves, I guess, um, or it needs for the set, because it's kind of flexible in what it is. But it's a Dragon Dance High Dragon brought by Standy B in Lugia, and he used it to gather all five of those kills that you see on the left there in the nine slot for the Week 6 leaderboard. The rest of the High Dragons this week absolutely sucked. They didn't die. <laughs> well, maybe one of them died, but aside from that, they did Jack Squat. <laughs> and and Sandy B's High Dragon put the, the team on its back. Dragon danced and he EV'd it to I don't he didn't so with Sandy B he he deletes his, his teams right after the game. Um which might be somewhat therapeutic depending on, you know, whether you win or lose. But it you know, it we don't have the exact EV spread, but it's not really needed because it, essentially the the idea behind it was 
So it's it's Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Crunch, Fire Blast with a Life Orb, and there was a EV Calc that in the special attack department. I'm assuming it's 88, because that's what you need. Did you just do uh, that math? Because I was about to. Is it? Yeah, I, I calc it. So, okay. so you need to overall uh, max. Max Bidef. Yeah. So I'm just gonna. Every max max. <clears throat> so we're speculating it's 88 special attack. Yeah, with life orb. Okay. So, we'll pencil that in there. Then we'll, we'll just we'll just do that for the, the viewers' sake. So we've got. So what what would that leave us with it in, in speed? I don't even know if you want max speed. It would the, eight, the rest. He said it was max attack. 80, if we're calculating it correctly, it's 88 special so it attack. Oh, and then the rest in the speed? Yeah. Oh. It would be 252 minus 88. Which would be... Uh, 164, and then there's the 4 left over, so probably 168 to speed. Alright. Quick math. There you have it. That's your set of the week. We've got a Hydreigon with a Life Orb with the Levitate ability. With 252 attack EVs, 88 special attack EVs, and 168 speed EVs. What did this do? Well, with a nutty nature, naughty, not nutty, naughty nature, Dragon Dance allows it to set up and outspeed its entire opponent's team. And it had enough EVs with the naughty nature, naughty nature to, excuse me, one hit KO the Pharaoh Thorn, I believe, with Fire Blast. And then after that, the rest of it was into attack and the remaining, or it had max attack and the remi remaining in speed just because after the Dragon Dance, you know, what else are you going to do with it? Um, but then Earthquake, Crunch, Fire Blast, I'm assuming he had a, a phenomenal matchup against his opponent's team because picked up five kills. And the Life Orb, incidentally, didn't really play much of a factor because he told me that it got knocked off early in the game. Mm -hmm. But... We wanted to highlight this up just because Dragon Dance High Dragon isn't typically a. I mean, it it, it may be a, a known set, but it's not the popular set. Uh, usually, it's carrying a scarf or you know life orb with a special uh, full special or special specs. spread or specs or leftovers with sub roost. Um, well, like a defensive one, right? Um, even Thunder Wave. I brought defog. I brought D T Wave Scarf before. Yeah, Defog. Um, it's got a my rate of special sets, uh, but the Dragon Dance set doesn't get as much love, uh, just because its its physical attack is. It's over like ninety seven. Yeah. Which is like one twenty something. Yeah, it's very it's very overshadowed by its special attack stat. So, um, it's not brought as often for good reason, but in the right matchup. It can absolutely, it can absolutely murder your opponent, and that's exactly what it did this week, um, without its life orb. So, yeah, thanks for sharing the spread, um, or what you remembered of the spread, Stanny, and <laughs> we were able to uh, replicate the rest of it this week in front of you. It's so, hard to figure out. You put two fifty two in there. <laughs> well, I mean, he said he said it was max attack with a naughty nature. So, I mean. I, I, that's, I, the, that's the easy part to you know do when you when you put when you make a set. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, but I mean, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, assuming it's it was EV to KO the Pharaoh Thorn, which or with Fire Blast, which why wouldn't it be at that point? But um, yeah, I'm assuming that's what a set was, and if not, I mean, it, the set is flexible enough where um, you could take some of those PDVs and put them into the special attack if you need to hit something a little bit more um or vice versa if you need to outspeed something a little bit more and just want to get you know make sure you got a little more chip on the special side before you rattle off a fire blast um, or you don't even need fire blast go all physical you, you could do that heck you could put defog you could put t-wave you could put roost you could put you know I, what other physical moves does it get can we like just like do a quick spotlight on i dragon yeah yeah I got Very you. Diverse mom. It is. Scale shot. Hi, Dragon got scale yeah. shot? I mean, yeah, it's a dragon. Why wouldn't it get. Oh, are there. Are there not. I, I swear there are dragons that don't get it. Am I wrong? 
I have no clue, but like, it, like I probably Rob said, getting dual wing beat is pretty cool for it too. Oh, yeah. that is pretty nice. It has a scale shot. It has you turn. It, it's more. It's more like. It's more like a momentum move. How did I forget if about you turn? Gonna, if you're gonna go for speed control, it has rock doom. It. And... On the subject of rock, it also gets rock smash. I mean, sorry, head smash. What? Which is scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea I got that. Yeah, real weird. The superpower. Mhm. Mm I think I knew it had superpower. Yes. Yeah, really good coverage. The superpower is how you beat it. I mean, it's you got get impact. That's all you need. It's got three heads. If it, if it, you know, if that doesn't say superpower, you know. so <laughs> I don't know what I'm does. <laughs> exactly. I'm checking on. I'm checking on showdown right now, and this goddamn sock puppet has ice tech. It's got all the fangs. Yeah, it has three heads, of course. One fang for each head. You should all of them at the same time. You should get tri- Wait, why doesn't it get tri-attack? It's got Dude, three heads. Dude, Game Freak, make it happen. Exactly. It does have tri-attack. Exactly. Does it? It does have tri-attack. It doesn't have tri-attack. Dude, it that does. was- it, it does. It's, oh, wait. It's a level up move. That was so- wait, I, I swear I Game Freak just snuck that in oh, so yes. fast. It's fine. <laughs> they they were listening. It, it learns it at like level zero. What? It, it actually has. It actually has try attack. I didn't know that. That's insane, dude. <laughs> I thought try attack was like specific to Porygon. Same, to be honest. Dodrio gets it also. I guess three heads again. Yeah. This this, this physical coverage yeah. is actually stupidly wide. Like yeah, very. It has, it, it has a steel wing for fairies. It has Zen headbutt for fighting. It's got outrage. Steel. EQ. It actually does. Uh, wait, does like ouch. Belch is poison. I was about to say it doesn't have, like, um, poison coverage, but it does. Which, that one you'd have to, so, I always forget with Belch, um, I know the mechanic with that move is you have to eat a berry before you can actually use it. So you could run yeah. a ro Roselia berry on it. But the thing is, you have to have finished eating the berry before you can even click the well, right. right. So, uh, so I'm wondering, do we, can we confirm that if you eat the berry during the game and it switches out, if it comes back in, can it yeah, still it's, use belch? It still works. It does. It still can works. It, can it, it click does. belch multiple times or is it only once? No, it can use it multiple times because you can only eat the berry once unless you're harvest. You you have you have to eat the berry, but once you eat the berry, you can switch in, switch out. It's like a normal poison move. I know this because Geek uh, once uh, he was about to do a poke test, and he like, hey, bring this, bring this, and I'm gonna bring this mom with belch, and it actually works. Like you, if you switch in and switch out. Like the move works normally, you just have to eat the berry first. That's wild. Today, the first time I try to use Belch, I try to use it on the Slow King to be a top of Hulu, but I didn't know that you have to eat the berry first. Oh no! So, <laughs> so, so I'm just there trying to click no Belch versus a Bulu. I have the grass berry, and then so I'm just and then I can't click the move, right? <laughs> and so I'm just stuck there, not knowing what to do. Oh no. <laughs> Very scary situation. Today I learned and something. The belch... If it got Belly Drum, that would be the perfect set. Do Belch on it. Substitute Belly Drum with a Confusion Berry. No, with a okay. Citrus Berry. And then. Doesn't the Slow Family learn Belly Drum? Who? The Slow Family. What's the Slow Family? They do. The, like, it's like Slow Bro and Slow King. They do, they do get oh, Belly Drum. They do. Yeah, they do. Oh, does that get does that get belch? I mean, it, yeah, but yeah, he was just talking about it. Yeah. Oh. oh okay. I see. I, I just put it together belch in my head. Belch. Slow. 
Wait, is Belch theory morning? Is Belch a yeah. physical move or is it special? No, no, it's special. It's special. Perfect. Uh, One thirty power, ninety accuracy. Okay, I see. Everybody's jotting that down now. Yeah, in my to that brain library, <laughs> <laughs> where I store Mega Beedrill's max speed is four twenty-seven. That's the only thing that comes to mind whenever I think of Pokemon. What? Why? Why is that the first thing? <laughs> what? <laughs> There's a story here. Uh, so, like it has a story right there. The story Can is that I got back into Pokemon when Gen Six came out, and I really liked Mega Beedrill's design. And so I learned about Showdown then, which I guess it was like 2014. So I guess I was still in high school, and um, yeah, I just really liked Mega Beedrill, so I memorized that from Showdown. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the whole story. <laughs> I mean, I I know a lot of speed tiers, but like that's just the one that sticks out for me. And I if the story was gonna be something like max speed uh, choice scarf. Uh, Ladias or Ladios outspeeds uh, Mega Swampert in rain by one point, and that grants a KO on your Mega that no, you I, didn't expect it. I didn't have that much like, of a big brain back then. <laughs> like, well, I had a bad experience that made me that made me remember that. That's what, that, that's what I was, <laughs> was I was anticipating as well. It, it was. <laughs> It was sadness that made me remember that. <laughs> as most well, I hope stories that are, goes away one day. as most stories are in the draft community. <laughs> hey, to come full circle, if you had the Team Hawk draft prep doc back then, you would have known all the speed tiers. Hey, I mean, did you make it in 2014? <laughs> I don't then know. It would have been my fault, but if you hadn't had made it back then, then I can blame you for. It wasn't even. <laughs> I mean, in 2014, it's like the Skype era. True. Was that Very the my? True. Was that even? Wait, was Facebook even around? Was that that's the MySpace era, right? 2014. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I'm just, I'm just oh, playing. The... <laughs> but like, the... <laughs> I don't think that I don't think the team, the, the prep doc was even a thought back then. I didn't even know like what the heck draft. I was barely getting into fantasy football, let alone draft league Pokemon. You didn't even know what how coding worked probably back then. I did not. I think I was sitting. <laughs> I remember when I first started <laughs> watch, or playing on Showdown. So I took a like a, a year and a half hiatus from Pokemon between like after Black and White, and then I got in, got back into it like a year after X and Y been out. Right, be, maybe it might have even been like after Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire came out. And <clears throat> I don't know why this memory sticks in sticks with me, but <laughs> sitting in my my college statistics class and you know i went to winona state winona state in minnesota um it's in the city of winona on the like the wisconsin minnesota border on the mississippi and they gave us like it was like a mandatory i'd have a laptop so like every class everybody's got their laptop open and I, it's like an auditorium auditorium style classroom and this dude's down in the in the, in the bottom in the center teaching the class and I'm like Shh, stats, yeah. I know, I know stats, whatever. You know, I know, I know what fractions are. I know what percentages. What do I need to learn from here? So I'm sitting there playing Showdown <laughs> in the middle of class, <laughs> like, like the early stages of, oh, what's a talon flame? This thing looks awesome. I'm gonna use it. <laughs> Showdown Dude, is I the love best. Talonflame. Dude, I Six love Talonflame. Talon flame goaded. Dude, I love talon flame. Dude, Bree well, I'm pretty sure by the end of gym. Uh, people realize that Town Flame wasn't that good, at least the <laughs> offensive version. Most people use like bulky as. Hey, listen. Is there like is there such that... a thing as bulky Town Flame? Yeah, that, that's uh, you have to get Swords Dances off that way to do any damage. But yeah. Did they nerf Gale Wings with Oras, or was it like at the end of no, X Y? I think it was in the I... Gen. Yeah. Okay. I, so, I think it was Gen Seven. Because Gale Wings came out with Town. It did. Right. It did. Well, it's the, so only thing that, it's the only thing that has it. Yeah, they nerfed it because of the... Yeah. Yeah. It was broken. Yeah, they don't care about Draft League. No. <laughs> they should. We need... I yeah, think, we need a I Dota. That... Yeah, if if anyone from Game Freak or Nintendo was in SPS, they would care about uh, about Draft League. Exactly. Definitely. <clears throat> you know what? We are awesome. 
they should they should care about us. Uh, on the on the on the topic of Game Freak, like if if they could come out with a game like like right now, we're on a, a major tangent right here, and I and I dig it, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Um, <laughs> if Game Freak could like like right now the games since the beginning like since like red blue and yellow all these games have been tailored towards 11 year olds because that's when you get your first pokemon right that's when you go to professor oak's lab and you get your your pikachu or your your charmander your bulbasaur your squirtle like game freak needs to come out with a game because all those kids that got their first pokemon at 11 or in my case when i was seven because i was advanced and I got my Pokemon game, Vaughan. and I I got my Game Boy Color when I was seven and not eleven. Um, <laughs> like all those kids are like, they're in their twenties, you know, like yeah, Game Freak, like make yeah. one game to that like the OG Pokemon fan club, and like you know you're an adult man. Like make an adult Pokemon would, game. That would be awesome. And just like don't oh, don't hold our hands through it. Let us figure it out. That'd be, that'd what, be awesome. I, I I am afraid to ask what do you have in mind when we say an adult Pokemon game. Like. <sighs> oh, uh, I thought he was implying so it was saying adult like it was gonna be uh, Pokemon porno. But I mean that just. <laughs> No, 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 no. There's I a didn't. subreddit for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I did, that. I didn't mean like, I didn't mean like that. I, <laughs> I, I actually, I thought um, blood and like more like a grotesque uh, reaction to so, the moves. <laughs> the sexual thing. I guess, hey, I guess I, I'm not sure. I didn't have a fully developed thought when I when I said all that. Like, I, I didn't have an end point of, like, what I wanted it to look like, honestly. But, like, <laughs> you watch, you go back and watch the Detective Pikachu movie, and it's, he's, like, what is he? I mean, he's on the verge of adulthood. He is adulthood, like, the main character. Yeah. Like, that yeah, was, like, like, real, that. That was like real, world, real world Pokemon. Like, make it yeah that type of of setting or at least like that audience and where how uh, Mewtwo was just marking people left and right yeah that like make it like the villain is actually like a villain like, the villain has a gun yeah like do, put like real <laughs> stakes into it not just like you shoot them. not just Let like just this random them. not just this random legendary that appears at the bottom of the stadium that like you had no idea until like bam it's here you have to beat it and catch it like have at that point, what the, the heck is an Eternatus? Game for Detective Pikachu? I have. Oh no, I haven't even watched the movie, and I worked at a movie theater when it came out. So the <laughs> game is actually very, very. I guess basic. It's like you can beat it in like a very few hours. Oh dang! Kind of catered to kids. That's disappointing. Have you guys ever seen Pokemon Rusty? No. Is that a fan-made game? It's a web series. It's by I, can't, I think his name's like Dorkley. He does like sketches and stuff. But it's a, it's a very sounds like what you're describing. The villain becomes a Beedrill with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Good. If you that have sounds like 40 perfect. Minutes to, to chill, just watch Pokemon Rusty. It's very entertaining. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. It's the one that the final boss is a God Bidoof. Yeah, it's the God like... Bidoof. <laughs> the God. <laughs> yeah, classic. <laughs> yes. The best slave that no one ever... Uh, I know, I, I recall it right now. <laughs> Pokemon it's Rusty very, is very awesome. entertaining. It's like a big Pokemon was made on crack. Game game <laughs> so freak. Ba so, ba so basically the adult-themed uh, Pokemon game that Hawk was talking about. Like, it's Pokemon Rusty. Just make that a game. Game Freak, Perfect. make it happen. <laughs> yeah, or else. All right, no, I think I think we'll, we'll bring we'll reel it back in now. Yeah. We'll bring it back in, back back to the to the pillar, back we, to the stadium. We really went off with that one, right? We did. Like, like that's that's fun though. I like those. Um. <laughs> anyway, getting back to the pillar, let's look at uh, the overall leaderboard, and. Let's all pay our respects to Zero Aura, the Nathan-led Zero Aura, finally 
finally relinquished its spot atop the pillar, which now is owned by Dun 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 Surprise Dragobolt. <laughs> are we gonna have like a moment of silence or something like that for it, or are we just gonna move on? <laughs> I, th I think we should, and if Trent could get taps going as well, that would be greatly appreciated. One minute of silence for Dragapult being uh, number one on the overall leaderboard. Joking, doesn't <laughs> <laughs> I was about to follow through. <laughs> I don't know how long a minute is. <laughs> I think it says. Like, I think it's. I, I think it's the time between my last championship and my next one. Oh, uh, I like that. <laughs> Anywho, um, let's see. Are there any? Are there any surprising? Appearances atop this. I guess Mega Gardevoir is sort of a surprise. Registeel. Right. I would say my, my, in my personal opinion, it would be a Registeel because that thing killed me um, <laughs> on my match against Trent. Trent had a Registeel. And Did he bring my set? Whoever uses Registeel is dumb, in my opinion, you know? Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. I'm trying my best with it. I mean, honestly, I think the biggest the bigger surprise is that Registeel isn't in the top 5 yet. I, I think I've 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 I haven't brought it that many games body press. I think Barry Fairy, so, you like, need to step up your game. I yeah. agree. I'm also looking at you, Trent. I actually since I'm not going to play Registeel again, I agree with how like step up your game. <laughs> okay, okay. Now that it's not in my path anymore, step up your game. <laughs> it's it's a really good wall. It is. So. It's a it's a phenomenal I, I mean, mod. I, I like Registeel, but like at the game, I didn't like it. I hated it because like it survived uh, at one percent and then rested the damage off. And it's I just too juiced. Yep, like. It's alloy I cannot be broken. I actually I can't blame uh, Registeel because I do recall I do remember that the, my match against Trent I felt miserable. Like at the end I felt like a comp I I felt horrible because like I was like my plan didn't didn't land it, the things that I expected did it came off, I got paralyzed with a body slam literally the first time he used it, and like all the frustration is stacked, but it wasn't Registeel's fault like <laughs> so he I knows not what him. he has done <laughs> like, like, I blame my Galtaria that stupid bird I really don't like my Galtaria using it, I Honestly, could go the rest of my matches without bringing it. I've got it in WPF, and <laughs> it's a bit underwhelmed, or it's a, it's been a bit underwhelming. I guess it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Like on paper, when I see... talk about it, he said it was, in his opinion, the worst mega. Stanny. Dang. Said that. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. Like, I... Dragon Fairy is such a weird typing. It is. I don't necessarily agree with being the worst mega, but it, like, but it's not good. <laughs> I mean, okay, okay, I can <laughs> I can argue about that, but like uh, saying that something is a worst mega when there is a Mega Manectric right at the corner, like Mega Manectric is not the worst mega. No. I, I I agree with Sun. Uh, okay, on that one. okay. So, 
Like okay, a bomber so snow, though? That's kind of bad. That's I, pretty bad. You know, when I was when I was thinking of who I would wait, put wait, as the wait. worst mega, that was one that popped into my head. Sorry, Ron. Wait a second. So, Sansan, let me ask you real quick. Like, it's just a question. Do you consider Mega Man Electric a better mega than Mega Altaria? I no. would. I, I, I would actually. I wouldn't. I, I would. I I don't agree with that at all. But moving on. <laughs> Yo, I wanna I wanna take a moment here. So, pop quiz. There's no right or wrong answer. What is, in your opinion, your opinion, the worst mega in the game? A ball must know. Mega name. Mega. Man. Right now. Mega Altaria. <laughs> it just doesn't do anything. I just, it's it's a jack of all trades, master of none. Just, uh, just, just, none of, for a mega dog shit stats. I'd probably say Glalie. Glalie, Glalie is pretty. Actually, I don't know. I've never used Glalie in a. It's, it's got it's got some decent stats. Okay, did, did oh, Ellis? I think the biggest issue with this for turn frustration. Or the cost map. Yeah. Does he it doesn't get body slam either, does it? I don't no, think it does. Even if it did, well it's a week. Mega the Glalie And did they nerf uh, refrigerate as well? Because I know they nerfed like aerial lane and all Yeah, they it nerfed aerial lane, they were like might as well nerf literally everything else. Yeah, they nerfed refrigerate. Yeah. Oh, okay, I have a really I have a really important question for you guys. Uh do you think, because of how strong the power creep has been, that Mega Metagross can be introduced back into like regular draft games? Nope. I do not. No, you don't think so? Not at all. Definitely not. not. A chance. Yeah, it's too strong. You think so still? Tough claws. Tough claws. Bullet punch. It's, like, it's like all right noobers. Like I did an Uber draft, and it, like the dude who had Mega Metagross, like I was not scared of it. Dude, it's got a. Like, they bring, what it's got they bring a cosmic power Mega Metagross. Dude. I, yeah, like, okay. <laughs> I see that. I see. That. I see. <laughs> like a so, 145 base attack, tough claws, bullet punch. Like, no, thank you. Hey, we we allow a technician Mega Caesar, right? Sure, sure, it has so, a four times weakness to fire, but yeah, but this like, is so arguably like, stronger wait. than a Mega Caesar bullet punch. So Caesar doesn't invest. <laughs> right, but it also gets swords danced as um. Does Metagross have sword So sense? let's do a uh, really yes. uh, quick comparison. Oh, I know it doesn't. The the closest that you can that you can compare Metagross is like Charizard X because they both have the same ability, which is Tough Claws. It's the coverage look, though. Oh, and Mega Aerodactyl. If you, if you look uh, and Mega Aerodactyl, but and if Barbaric. you look at Charizard X at stats, it has 130 attack. While Metagross has 145, like defense of Charizard X is 111, and Metagross is 150. Like literally, the only stat that Charizard X has above Mega Metagross is a special attack, which is like 105 versus it's, 130. It's 130 because uh, I believe it's the same as its attack stat. Yeah, it and, is. And like it's. Metagross has an absurdly good typing. It has a really, really great coverage. Like, it is really, really overwhelming to deal with. The fact it that Mega Charizard a... X can't even out outspeed Mega Metagross outright. It's... That's also like, true. Like, okay, listen. Looking, listen, I, at, my yeah. point is that I think we should suspect test it. I don't suspect agree with that. Halt. I I'm disagree. looking at the, like, the movesets. <laughs> so, there are ways it can actually just beat its checks. It can block and like toxic. It can like with the new cosmic power. Um, I think it got body press now, right? So you can also you can go iron defense, body press, body Sounds press like with tough my alley. tough claws, body press. <laughs> like tough claws. No, iron there's, defense, body press. There's it needs like ways to like heal itself after the rest. But. There's there's no way they were <laughs> bringing Mega Metagross in. Listen, um, listen. I'm just saying. I want. I want to suspect test it with you, Balha. <laughs> Bring I, it back, but make it thirty points. I, yeah, I right. We'll make. We'll, we'll make I it. Yeah. Suspect, I want to suspect. I want to suspect text 
test and hopefully it will come back to me when it's my turn to drive. <laughs> we can we Listen, can rig we can rig the Uber yeah. bot that, that I, I definitely <laughs> would take a day and like any megas that are banned that you think are like fringe, like obviously not Mega Rayquaza, that like I would suspect test them with you. Like we'd put them so, up against other megas and stuff. Can we start with Mewtwo Another then? <laughs> yeah, 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 we'll start with Mewtwo. Yeah, right. <laughs> Another thing that I realized is that the Megas that has Tough Klaus, Mega Metagross is the only one that is not Tough Rock weak. So it ha it's actually resistant to Rock, to, to Steel That's type. very true. That's a good point. So, so, like, you can't hazard hindering them. Because one big thing when you have Mega Charizard the both Mega Charizards and Mega Aerodactyl is the fact that you need a really good uh, removal uh, backup to help them go to the field safely. You can literally throw Mega Metagross in front of Stealth Rock and so what? Is, was that supposed to hurt? Like... <laughs> hey, chip is chip! Like, <laughs> Barely tickles it. You don't need to worry about removal if, or any any kind of support when you have a Metagross Mega. No, it's but it's like, like, so. like maybe if you have a Flash Fire or a Bulky Water to protect from fire attacks, but like it's way more easy to land in than the other Megas. Yeah. You were LS did. Ellis, did you did you have a mega that you think is the worst? Yeah, I said a bomber snow because it its stats aren't horrible, but the fact that it just keeps the snow warning ability, it's kind and it's because snow's that not that frail of or like good at all in the meta, so I just don't think it has a place anywhere. I wish they would find a way to make hail stronger because it's such a cool like ice is such oh. a good offensive type, but just defensively it's so horrendous and I like I just wish there was like a way that they could I I know I me and my brother were talking about this. He's uh DJ Lee ninety six in the server. Or I guess it's probably not that in the server. Regardless, you know who he is. Um DJ uh, Ali we were, Daniel. Yeah, DJ Ali uh yeah, we were talking about how you know how sand uh it raises spadef by fifty percent. Maybe they could do that with defense with mm -hmm. uh with snow. Or we work for awesome. Rock. One thing that I think it would be really great, I really agree, I really like this idea of uh, making a defense boost under hail, but another thing that I think it would be really cool was making freeze uh, like an actual stat move, that you have burn and burn damage, and it helps the, it helps the attack stat. If you did like freeze, giving a uh, chill damage and having the special attack, but still allowing you to move, like and do this an um, ice type status attack, it would be also really good. To, oh, like you could half like, speed. Yeah. So okay. So this this is oh, a wait, whole that's what paralysis does. That's pro paralysis. So does so this like attack it would be more original. Like it would true. Be more yeah. Original. So like this like brings on a whole other topic that like I can't remember where I was talking about it or who I was talking about it with, but like freeze, like it's a ten percent chance to get it on moves like ice beam, and I think freezing freezing glare might be a little bit higher. I forget. No, 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 freezing glare is 10%. Okay, okay, so moves that can cause freeze, it's only 10%, but, like, once that 10% hits, like, that one out of, <clears throat> that one out of 10 roll, is free, being frozen is just so broken. Like, I learned that, you know, fire-type moves, like, heat, like, oh, so I was playing on the ladder today, and my heat train got frozen. Magma Storm didn't even thaw the, the ice. Like, a yeah, fire... It's only no, skull or flamethrower like or fire eruption. blast or something like that, like or steam yeah, eruption. Uh, like in cover the whole <clears throat> Pokemon in flames would thaw you if you were using. It. Like it's that's so dumb. Like like Game Freak has done a pretty good job at, at nerfing or buffing things that are weak, or you know like Gale Wings, like we were just talking about. Game Freak needs to do something about freeze, in my opinion. I think 
what you brought up about completely about they like threes, so it goes back to its Gen One. What was the Gen One mechanic? You just don't you just don't thaw ever unless you get hit by a fire. No, I think yeah, that'd no. Be too broken, I think that's, be too broken. I think that takes it the other way. I think what I they mean, need to do is they need to make it more similar to sleep. No, we whereas, gotta, we gotta, it's whereas, no, because sleep, sleep is sleep is just as like horrendous, right? Like you can you can either come out at the beginning or you can wait like three or four turns to come no, out. No, like when you're playing on the ladder on Smogon, it's it's oh, I suppose like when you're in the game, I guess it's it's between one and three turns, which that first turn is you know depending on when you attack, it could be the turn no, it's, that it it's happened. Not it's one to every five. Turns, every turn is a twenty percent chance to fall. But you can never yeah. be. You can never wait. Every over freeze is a twenty percent chance. Every turn. Yeah, every, every turn you have a twenty percent. So That's... that means you can literally get frozen for like ten turns. Well, what about you can be sleep? frozen how, for longer, how, but is like, there like a, it's a five turn a max. Term? Five turn. It's five turn max. Five turn okay, max. They should definitely sleep. max out freeze then. So they need to ma one. My okay. So hear me out. Game freak, get your notebook ready because this is this is my freeze proposal. My frozen proposal. So, <laughs> frozozal. My my fro my fro frozopal my proposal. We, we'll trade we'll trademark it later. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, I love the special attack idea. That's something that I never thought about before. But like, you burn, your attack is less. You're frozen. I mean, brain brain freeze. Like we think. I think we make the connection that special attack is more like, like thought. Like you're like smart like the brain yeah. power activate like yeah, like, like brain like freeze psychic type mons almost all of them are special, special. except for obviously metagross and jirachi mm. and then a couple mm. others here and there right like, like yeah yeah but, but but i mean like point is like yeah. like we have we have a move that like that cuts your speed in paralysis or a status that cuts your speed burn cuts your attack because like you're frozen you don't want to touch stuff with with the major like burnt hand or whatever like like it, it makes sense okay game freak cut the special attack with a freeze and there's two other ways you can go about it one make it exactly like burn but for like the special attack side where you're still able to attack you're just like chilled to the bone and just completely change the mechanic of freeze entirely where it's it's set in stone that's the way it is unless somebody uses heal bell or a lumberry or you know whatever or they could go about it like sleep almost where they put a set number on the maximum amount of turns that you could have it, like be frozen, and then like have real world effects on it, and maybe move this over to burn as well, where let's say in intense sunlight, instead of your max amount of turns of being frozen is five, it drops to two, and like same thing with burn in 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 a downpour or in rain, in rain. Yeah. like yeah, I mean that sounds cool. And they have they have so many like, you know, hot water yeah, yeah, yeah. thaws you out. Like like they 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 touch like, they scratch the surface of that mechanic. You know, just take it all the way, game freak. Like like, don't hold anything so, back. Just like take it all the way and fix freeze. <laughs> when this That's podcast is, when this podcast is over, we are gonna link it to the game freak. Uh, building and they are gonna watch and they are like hmm these guys are right we are doing this on gen 9 you're welcome everybody <laughs> i hope so <laughs> that'd be awesome but they have to pay us for the ideas we came up with yeah yeah because it's trademarked no we'd like, have we'd end up having like, to pay them because we used their name just watch <laughs> exactly we can do like hawk's dock right it's trademarked right Anyway, okay, so I'll, I'll reel it in again. Reel it in. Back in. Coming back to the to the, the summary sheet here. I want to scroll down to the bottom real quick because a couple weeks ago, we threw Jirachi under the bus, so to speak. And we basically just called it out and said, hey, if you don't get a kill this week, Sun Sun was losing a point because he had it on his team. Are there any outliers like that for this week? torn right no we're looking on the right side now so t oh, on the right side this is like the the entire season overview so these are I pokemon that are... got a kill blissey getting a kill would be nice whether it's toxic or stealth rocks or seismic toss 
Rotom Mo. Like, Rotom Mo. Yeah, Rotom Mo. Yeah, dude. Rotom Mo. It's only been brought to eight games across all four divisions. Like, Rotom Mo is probably my favorite Rotom form in all of draft. Mega A. And right above it, Mega Agron. Like, those two. Like, whoever oh. owns those two, like, make it happen. Come on. There's a lot of mons with zero. All the way up to Komala, which I mean, Komala's Komala. But, um. Where is that? Pasimian. Pasimian's only been brought to one game. Anybody yeah. that has a um, Rotom O that doesn't get a kill next week, losing a differential. You're actually kicked right. out of the league. He's <laughs> banned. Straight banned. Get him out. <laughs> so, the bottom. Uh, one of the mons on the bottom three is max. He was hit more chance. <laughs> yeah, that one's an odd one too. Hit me only chan. It, exactly. Hit me only chan is on the hitting only chance on WPF, not here. I think <laughs> it's because, because like the uh I think the the support that I have from both teams are I I mean I have uh, hit me only chan both in WPF and on SPS and the t but like they are the single mode that I have that I that are equal and everything else is vastly different and I think that Hit Me on Chan has a bigger spotlight and a bigger uh, space to shine on my WPF team rather than my SPS team it was actually uh, a queue uh, on the top uh, queue leaders on the leaderboard one week on WPF. Wow. I don't know what's happening with Hit Me or Nichan this time around, but he doesn't want to hit any or Nichans. <laughs> Senpai, is not no Senpai is not noticing him. <laughs> Dang, that's sad. The last thing that I think that I would like to highlight here, just because when you look at its stats, like the thing was meant to kill. Hoopa Unbound. I don't know yes. if it's I don't know if it's owned anymore or if it was dropped early in the season. Um, Where are you? Where are you? At number two forty seven, on the season uh, overview, five. it's been bought three to three total games. It's died once. And that's all that it's done throughout the server. It's because it needs it needs more speed. What is it like eighty speed? Like you have to run it scarfed. You don't. You don't. Ha like it depends on your team comp. You don't have to run it scarfed. That's true. If you have if you have webs, it's not <clears throat> absolutely necessary. Or T wave but support or tailwind support like, even. I, li I like to I like to live fast and dangerous. So for me, it has to be scarfed. <laughs> there is a substitute substitute set. Uh, you want to talk about berry fairies or Jihu? Hey, don't talk to me like that. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, my Earth Shifu has like, like, less than five kills. Blasphemy. Earth Shifu, uh, uh, five in, in five games is one and two. Blasphemy. Yeah. No way. It's because I find it, so the way I play, I just find it like just barely too slow. So I have to run it Scarf, and when it's Scarf, I feel like it doesn't have the killing power. All right, six games is one and three. Yeah, it's one and three. Uh, my first like three games, it just didn't hit the field. I'm pretty sure. Why am I not seeing it? That's because other oh. people's are shifu. Oh, dog. Uh, other, yeah, other people's are shifus are doing well. Mine, don't, not so much. Don't mind me. Oh. <laughs> Very good. Yo, get your get your act together, bro. Hey, I have a Reggie steel that body presses every game. <laughs> I don't need to worry about my act. Get bodied. That's what I'm saying. I should have brought it this week, but I didn't. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't going to do anything anyway. Uh, um, <laughs> shout out to every, uh, everyone in other divisions that are carrying Mega Charizard X. Because for sure I am hindering Mega Charizard X and somehow it's still in 7th place. Mega Charizard X just gets kills. And, and the deaths when I am playing. <laughs> <laughs> I, yep. I guess you could say that about our <laughs> Shifu too. <laughs> unless, unless Berry Fairy is using it. Their aura. Unless Berry Fairy is using it. Or Shifu Rapid. Or Single Strike just uh, 
it's on strike. We'll end it with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, with that dad joke, I think we'll move on. <laughs> cool. I'm good. Everybody's <laughs> favorite segment. Who's that Pokemon? What are we moving on to, Ballhawk? Did you not just hear the intro? It's <laughs> who's that Pokemon? Favorite segment. Who's that Pokemon? Oh man. Is this safe? Hopefully you can yeah. see my stream without spoiling it. Alright. I'm I'm not gonna enter the transmission until you say I Good. believe you, you should be fine. Join it, Ram. Join it. This one was made by me, so it's a little bit different from Trent's ones, but I'll give it a go. I'm excited. All in. I'm excited. Is Kangas gone? Yeah, I think we're all in. Yeah. It's I not Kangas gone, I promise you. It's knocked out. Well, GG, boom. Okay, it's Fire Red and Leaf Green Pokedex entry states. Its strongly developed thigh muscles give it astounding agility and jumping performance. Do I oh. guess now? You can. Yeah, you take one guess Hitmonlee. per thing. It is not Hitmonlee. Oh, I th I'm so Does relieved. Have <laughs> eyes? Like, like it's... It, it just has those coily legs. Like, like you, like, does, that, does everybody know what a slinky is? Like, that's what its legs are. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it is Machamp. Machamp. It's uh, not Machamp. It's got, it's got chicken legs. Not Machamp. Is it Giraffery? <laughs> it is not Giraffery. Jumping performance. Mr. Hawk, you get one more guess before we go into the next clue. So if it's Fire Red Leaf Green, that means that it's Gen 3 or oh. below. My I guess. I think I know what it is, but I'm gonna wait for the next hint because I already used my... Jumping. My guess is... This is a lot harder now that I'm on the spotlight. Um, it was fun for me to like criticize everybody else's guess, but now that I have to think of my own. <laughs> is it always? <laughs> um, shoot. Is it Ambipom? It is not Am Ambipom. Ambipom's in Gen 4. It wasn't it. <laughs> Did I mention at the beginning of this podcast that I had a glass of whiskey? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let it be known. <laughs> All right, moving on. Okay. Next clue. Uh, Bulbapedia lists these as some of its physical characteristics. There is a belt-like green stripe across its belly. It has two tails. It is a bipedal Pokemon similar in appearance to a theropod dinosaur. This means nothing to me. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Nidoqueen? It is not Nidoqueen. Nidoqueen does not have two tails. It has a stripe across its stomach. I don't know if it, that's it's green though. I how would you, how would you know? What I... if how have you seen the underbelly of a Venusaur? What have you been doing in your spare time? Who said it Venusaur? Not the Venusaur. <laughs> Isn't that what you didn't you say Venusaur? I said Nidoqueen. <laughs> cut me off. Nidoqueen. Cut me. Nidoqueen. Cut me off. Uh, <laughs> He's I'm definitely just had too it. much whiskey. I'm just gonna cut it real quick. Hulk, are you telling the truth to us that you only had one glass of whiskey? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if I trust because... you anymore. <laughs> I, I cannot. Oh, you want to take the guess first? Because I think I know what it would be. Okay, so, okay, I, so yeah. I, 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 wait, I'm I didn't get to guess. I didn't get to guess. I'm going to guess, but I'm not so positive after this. All right, you want me to go this. first then? No. <laughs> I, I'm going to guess Jump Bluff. It is not jump off. My is Armaldo? Pardon? Is it? Is Armaldo? It is not Armaldo. Okay, so I get a guess now. Yeah. Okay. Um. God, Gen Three is just such a <clears throat> hard generation for me to remember the grass types that were in that. Oh. Two tails. I guess I'm still thinking Gen 1 Pokemon. I should think Gen 2 and 3. Is it? Wait, hold on a second. Is it Hopip? It is not Hopip. The next one I think will kind of make it easy to guess, so I'm just <laughs> going to say first in, first serve with your guessing. Okay. This is a portion of it. Grovile? It is in fact Grovile. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> oh. 
I never noticed the two tails at the end there. I was I was thinking that, but I didn't have the guts to say it <laughs> at the end, when he when he showed that half shot. Let me just yeah, that... show a picture of Omoto, because like this is all I could like, remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pull up a picture of Armaldo real quick. No, 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 because look, it has technically two tails, right? That, those are yeah, like, one those, that's one, that's like one thing shooting up his body. Like, on it. Yeah. It's got, it's got some pretty big thighs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thick thighs save lives, don't they? It's, it's got, it, it must be pretty agile with them rapid spin. Mm. Very fairy like... on his both episode gets the point. <laughs> I'm just juiced like that. Trent is on. <laughs> Trent is on Pink Pod asking if we are still going. This is gonna be a long one. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's almost been two hours. No way. Wait, for yeah. real? Well, I guess when we started at like eight CST, but I hopped in call at like seven twenty-five, seven thirty. Yeah, I know so we I know we hopped in early. So far, me it's like midnight and eh, it's like midnight. <laughs> I mean, I completely lost the track of time. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm so we sorry. we should make this five hours so it's terrible for Trent to edit. Exactly, Trent. Trent, if you're listening to this part, I am terribly sorry. I love you, but. I didn't want. I don't want to be you when you're editing this video. Same. What edits? There are no edits needed for this. this is, <laughs> yeah, he just this puts is, the overlay on. This is you need gold. A game freak. Nah. What are they gonna do? Sue us. <laughs> Del delete the SPS. We just Can used you? their name. We said their name. We didn't use it. We said their name. So I, I think we're. So what's next on the schedule? Well, if I'm running down the schedule for this podcast, what would come next is a look ahead to week seven. So with that ever smooth transition, let's look ahead to week seven. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody have any uh, potential game of the week candidates? Me, look at the I'm schedule. Bring Registeel again. Yo, oh wait, 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 wait. Before, sorry, I'm sorry. Before we hop in, before we move forward, one more tangent. LS got his first win this week, dude. Let's Congrats. get it. Congratulations, I bro. Wa I watched the match. It was a really good match. Congrats, man. <laughs> I'm slowly taking those first steps. No longer the baby. Yeah, we said you. You know, you're standing up. You're wobbling a little bit. You know, you, you'll get your balance. It's coming. That's what I'm saying. And, and when when we pretty soon, pretty soon, you're gonna be running, running away. By about like I SBS season jump. seven, maybe I'll make playoffs of Zapdos. You know? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Honestly, you'll, you'll make it within a season or two. Yeah, for sure. This the first season, I, like the I first season or two, is always it's 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 such a steep learning curve, honestly. It is, dude. Honestly, when I learned <laughs> to just like speed creep stuff, that was a big jump for me. I feel like that's yeah, a big that's jump for everybody. This season was for me. I learned how to draft during the off season of like season two, but now I kind of know need to learn how to get good at playing. <laughs> uh, you can just be like me and have red or red riot just draft everything for you. Hey, he did that he wants. <laughs> he, he doesn't draft everything, but he's a really good drafter. He is. Yeah. Yes, he is. And I actually <coughs> forgot the train of thought what I was going to say previously. That I, I, I remember it. So, games to look ahead for Season 7. You all can witness me Week 7. Get week seven. That's Season week 7. Yeah, Week 7. That's what I said, right? <laughs> You just have to drop it as well. LS got okay, into your head. Week seven. Okay, week seven. Uh, a game to look forward on the week seven is me getting stomped by a team that not only has a Dragapult, but also has a Tornado Stadium. And 
I'm gonna face this with her sky more. But that's it is what it is. <laughs> Are you gonna go up against Sun Sun? Hey that's I'm gonna this actually looks like a really good game, honestly. Two teams that so give you guys background. If you're not in this in the, the server <coughs> One, you should be asking yourself, what are you doing? Get in here. Two, um, we're in week seven of a nine-week season. And so we're really getting to the point now where all these games are starting to matter quite a bit for playoff seeding and just making playoffs in general. So, Rom, your game with Chug, Professor Chug, PT two teams so actually no you okay so you're three and three with a plus one differential he is four and two with a plus 11 differential um absolutely being carried by dragapult Ooh. It, Ooh. <laughs> it's a lot of damage uh, lugia division i'm playing cordy this week <clears throat> oh that's gonna be a good game i'm excited we're for that actually one. both five and one with plus 15 Really? We've been, yeah, we've had the exact same differential for like, like the same scoreline, same. Why can't? Oh, wait. Why can't I find your team page for some reason? It's the very last one. Oh, it's the very. Oh, oh that's why I can see it. Okay. Yo. This I think this has to be featured as the game of the week. So. I'm expecting some heat to some heat to come out of this battle. We got. Can't say what I'm doing, but I think it'll be something to look forward to. I need I need to see a side of the week from this game. We've got. Yes, Cordy brought is the one that brought the the substitute coil. Skitters. No, no, that's Thunderbuck. Thunderbuck used it against Cordy. Oh. That was, that was Cordy's only loss. Oh, you're right. Dang, you don't have a Milotic. You're dead. Nah, I got, I got, I got something better. No <laughs> shit. Watch, watch yeah, out for. I got top of feet. I got top of feet. <laughs> I was gonna say, watch out for the iron defense, calm mind, stored power, draining kiss. It's coming. Probably, you guys, this when do you? Video's probably gonna go on Friday, but yeah. you know. Do you guys, do you guys don't play <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> I was gonna ask you guys don't play this weekend, do you? <laughs> <laughs> We can ask Trent to edit that part out. <laughs> leave it in, leave it in. <laughs> my Feenies my Feenies come every single week. Don't worry. Yeah, that's true. I mean and to be fair, I mean that's that's not a an unknown set for Tapu Feeny. My my Jirajis come every week, but it hasn't done much. It's worn a Rocky helmet and just sat there to get a kill. It's two and two. It's got the same score line as my Placephalon and Crocodile. You know, it's come four what? more games in the crux. Blacephalon is so underwhelming. I, I, I think it depends on. But, it depends on the it's, team it's comp around it. Lot, it's one of those things that it, it has. It has like, snow. It's yeah. snowball effect. Like it, it has the potential. To it has snowball effect, sure, because it's got beast boost. But I think getting that first kill is kind of difficult for me. It's a really good wall break. It's got pretty decent coverage. It's, it's got, got like it, knockoff coming off like 120 base attack. It can be physical too. Like it's got decent physical coverage, solid physical attack. Does. does it? Did it keep scorching sands or did it lose that? No, it lost it. Okay, or I guess never got it. That's what I mean. We were deceived. Yeah, and then uh, in Articuno, there's a big match between our first place and our second place, featuring. Two and Softsome. I'm excited so to watch that. Two's a six zero, and then Softsome is five and one. I'm hoping that Softsome takes this, so that way, towards the end of the season, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be such a glaring difference in our records when I have to play Tooth to finish the season off. I think that would be an awesome cap to the regular season. This week has um Halix and. Bowser playing in Zapdos, so they're one and two, but they already played their match. Don't want to spoil it though, but it was a very interesting match. Michael and Let's just really good match. Alex may or may not no longer be undefeated, potentially. 
theoretically. You should edit this part because now you're teasing uh, spoilers. No, nah, no. Nah. They, they know there's spoiler coming up. If, if you're at this point and you already got spoiled, what are you doing? You should have skipped ahead. <laughs> yeah. Go watch, go watch those battles. Like what, are you, like, what are you doing? Come on. Well. I think we got some good games to watch to look forward to this week. I'm excited. I think it's going to be a great week of Pokemon. With that... Anybody else have some closing thoughts? I Things hope you get six outs for the rest of your games, Ballhawk, like you did for the first three. <sighs> the last two weeks, I have been on a drought of six O's. <laughs> pick it up, well, pick up the pace. <laughs> well, that's three more six O's that you have more than me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have zero six zeros. Dude, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I do either. I didn't I have any before the season, so... I actually did one once, I guess. Uh, but I think just one. Like, my my matches, they're... I very rarely, rarely, the differential is absurdly big. Like... When I win, it's by a tiny bit. When I lose, it's by a tiny bit. It's mm -hmm. not something super ultra big. Hmm. Yeah, I, I've, sometimes I win by a lot, but I feel, I don't know how to explain. It. I have a big range of like wins and losses, in differential wise. Yeah, you know, this is <laughs> this is the first season that actually had a decent differential. Totally being carried by my first three weeks. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of me. I didn't think I had it in me. <laughs> do we play this season? <laughs> we do. We play next week, buddy. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, um, that'll be the match of the week. I am no longer yeah. proud of you. <laughs> I'm no longer proud no of you. <laughs> I hope you lose. Just get a just six o berry, you know. Just, right. Hey, don't six o me. Serve him up a slice of humble pie. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bring, I know I'm not good. I just like to talk big. Bring that Registeel, I dare you. Oh, I will. <laughs> will. It's not a Magnezone, so you still have a chance. Oh. Right, right. It doesn't carry that fourth ability. That's right. <laughs> it doesn't carry to me date. No. <laughs> I'm immune. I'm oblivious to it. Ooh, I like hey. that. Hey. <laughs> With that, I think... Uh, that's a good point to stop for this week and wrap it up. So, um, from all of us here at the Sky Pillar Stadium, I think uh, I speak for all of us, and they can all chime in, of course. But thank you for showing up, tuning in, sitting down with the Sky Pillar, and uh, <laughs> tuning in this week. So, can, uh, I give, can I give a big fat kiss to the audience? Do it. I don't know how that sounded. <laughs> it was just in, it was interesting. Okay, I just kissed my mic. <laughs> it sounded exactly like that. Okay, good. <laughs> do we do we have a mic in the server? Like a mic call? Oh. It took me uh, five seconds to understand. <laughs> I don't think we have a mic. <laughs> I don't think we do. Dang. Missed out on an opportunity. Someone, someone, uh, nickname, uh, change your nickname to Mike after seeing this podcast. Okay. I know I will. Hashtag. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Hashtag Mike. Uh, okay. With that, dad jokes are done. This episode is done. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I appreciate you guys for coming in and showing the support and listening to the podcast. Um, hope you had a good time and. Uh, same place next time next week same place same time that's what i meant i'm cut off Bye. thank you for tuning in we'll see you next week <laughs> <laughs>